Oh, good. Awesome. All right, so the play is Julianne Hayes' <coughs> The Wedding Story. Mm -hmm. It is basically where these two, her actors as the storyteller, are trying desperately to show <coughs> the kids, played by you, thank you, the truth about um, the happily ever after, and she is just trying to get to that happily ever after. Very good, thank you.
What? What's so funny? She's not even close to 24. Oh. <laughs> Just wait a minute here. Now just wait a minute here, Buster Brown. Whose story is this? Ours! Wrong! This is a fairy tale. I'm going for prototypes. But I'm 35. The average American woman is married at 24. <laughs> You're 24. How old does that make him? 27. Why? How old is he really? I'm the one that's 24. Isn't that a little young to be getting married? Oh, how come 24 is okay for me, but not for him? You're the woman. You're supposed to be younger. But she says. Now, as I was saying before I was interrupted for the umpteenth time, boys and girls, <coughs> after the reception, the 24-year-old bride was whisked away in a horse-drawn carriage by her 27-year-old group. Whisked away where? To the airport. Which one? The airport of... Uh, Vermont. There's one in Burlington and one in Montpellier. How did you know that? Uh, I majored in geography. You did? <laughs> so, Miss Fancy Pants, which one is it? The one at which you got your flight to Hawaii for your honeymoon. Oh, this whole fairy tale is completely out of hand. No one knows there's no flights from Vermont to Hawaii. You have to fly through Logan or LAX. And besides, I highly doubt <laughs> Horses in the turkey. For God's sake, what is wrong with telling the children a nice little bedtime story? You know, once life turns out like that, I mean, how many of them will live up to your version of the story? None. They can't. It's too much pressure. It's, it's, it's why Catholic women are all messed up. You can't be a virgin and a mother. <laughs> Any longer took up with the drag queen from Soho and the bride. 
Georgia mother who sold herself with vodka and Xanax and died of a somewhat accidental overdose three years later. The groom, now 26, took up wearing cowboy hats and chaps and made the mistake of traveling to Wyoming on business where he was dragged to his death behind a 4x4 four by, four by a bunch of homophobic rednecks. The drag queen made a show about the three of them in which he played all three parts, won a genius grant, and scored his own talk show on New York City cable access. The Thank you.